Hello Skrulls of Doom here, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing another vlog today, but this time a Resident Evil 3 remake, collector's edition. I ordered it a few weeks back and I finally arrived today. I'm so excited um, to play it, like I can't wait. Um, I played the second one, the remake of that, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it was really good. So yeah, let's get to it. So, it's quite a big box. I took it out, all the packaging and that, to save all the messing around. So, here's the box that comes in. Quite a nice box. Here we go. Um, and it's got Star's badge at the front of it. I don't know if you can see it. And um, that's it really behind me. Nicely done that isn't it? Um, I like the feel of it as well. So this crumb on the bottom of it, which it comes off, but that was on the bottom of it, basically just what it's called. So Japanese version is called Biohazard Resident Evil 3. Collector's edition and then it says something like the bottom there but in Japanese. So I don't know what it says. Um but yeah, that's a bit of paper. Basically that would go under the box. So I put this on the floor, so it's easier to get everything out. It was quite a big box. So here's the game. So it's the same cover as the UK version, but except it says Biohazard Resident Evil 3. Um, yeah, and then there's the back of it. It's all in Japanese, so I can't read it. But my brother doesn't, I don't think it says much anyway. Like about the game and that. But everyone knows what it's all about anyway. Um, and I think that Biohazard Resistance, I think that's a, the DLC you get. Um, which is good, you get extra DLC. Now I think that's a code, that sticker at the front. I just hope I can use it. Because it's in Japanese, so surely I can. Hopefully, anyway. So yeah, that's still in its wrapper. I mean, um, well, actually, I won't do it now. Let's see. So, let's see getting the inside of it. Just some paper here, which is in Japanese. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see what else was this. Uh, it was just a little... Um, you do get a code. Ah, there's the code. That's good. It should be able to. It should work. Yeah, and there's basically just the controls of it, <laughs> which is in Japanese. Yeah, it's all in Japanese. So yeah, basically, it's just a bit, a bit of paper. You get, and obviously there's a code. Just not going to show anyone, obviously, because in case someone uses it. Right. Um. Oh god, there's something else underneath. Oh! Oh, that was that card. Oh god, oh god. Anyway, put it all away. Okay, that's the game. Um, and there's the CD you get. Resident Evil 3 special soundtrack. Um, so you get two discs. Um, and I think in this card, it's just all the different tracks. Yeah, disc one tracks and disc two tracks. Uh, oh, it's quite a lot actually. Oh, 20. Oh, so disc one has 24 tracks. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. Hold on. Oh yeah, it was, yeah, so this one has 24 tracks, this two has 21 tracks, oh, quite a lot. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth getting your hands on because even though, yeah, it's not cheap, but you get a lot in the collector's edition, you know what I mean, like... 
if you're a collector like me anyway. I mean, this is the first collector's edition I've ever got. Like, um... Yeah, so I thought I might as well just treat myself and get it. Um... Oh, God, I can't even get it back in. Right. Do that again. That's disc, disc one. That's what the front of it looks like. And then um, flip over and oh, there's disc two. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> um, right, now it's oh. Now, you also get a Project N and Project R art book. It's quite big as well. Quite nice as well. So the front's red and the back is green. So, I won't go through all the pages, just quite a few, I think. So, I'll just scroll through it and show you. So, so it's got a bit of writing there at the front, which says. Notice this file contains highly classified information. The distribution of du duplication of its contents is strictly prohibited and is, it is not to be removed from the facility's premises. This file is not to be re read without direct authorization. The material in this file is based on reports from and documents procured by. Oh god, I can't see what that last bit says. So Nikolai Gino Veev, something like that, I can't say his name. Anyway. So basically just pictures and that. Um, yeah, I'll read through them all, but anyway. I get quite a few pages. How many pages I get. And then obviously just, just different pictures basically in the in of the game basically. Oh god, let's try and get any blood on it. <laughs> um, we are there's pictures of Jill Valentine there. Um, basically that she works in the Raccoon City Police Department. Um, yep. Yeah. Like, it shows the ID badge and stuff. Yeah, it's just, yes. Yeah, show, shows different characters in that, basically. Then like some um, some maps. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, and then says the same thing at the back that it does at the front. So yeah, that's the art book. Um, we also get a Raccoon City map, which is quite big. I don't know if I'll just show it. Quite big. A very big map. <laughs> so yeah. Do you also get a map? Which I can stick on the wall if you want to. And then now we get to the Jill Valentine figure. Well, I can't remember what size it is, but it's quite big. <laughs> the size of the box. This is Biohazard Resident Evil 3, Jill Valentine. And then shows a star badge again. Get it out. Nicely packaged. Oh. 
and the pistol as well. Oh, look how big she is. God, look how accurate she looks. Wow, she looks so cool. Looks like she's ready to kick ass. And there's a little pistol to just put here in her hands. Slip through a hand here. Oh god, it's quite a lot to put on. And I'll get there in the end. I think I've done it. Is that it? Just lift it up a bit. So the fingers on the trigger. There you go. And it just come with a stand as well, which is here. Yeah, I'll get it now to you. Didn't choose to have it on the stand or not on the stand. Which is quite cool about the stands, but. Stand at the stars badge, so we didn't see it. <laughs> it's black, that's just put it in the stand, so it looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> Took longer than expected. I think moving legs so she there we go, got it. Right, there you go. There she's on the stands, quite a big stand as well. Put on display. Yeah, don't know where to pull off. I forgot where to pull it. Um, but yeah, that's wicked. It's quite big as well, isn't it? I mean, for what you're paying, it's you know, it's a good size figure. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, so yeah. Oh, just look. The look. Just look at the detail of it. I've just got a little like star, but all that is like little, is that a little. I've got a, um... Oh yeah, so here's a little pistol. You, know, you put your pistol in on a leg. Ah, she's got a little pouch there. She's got a. Is that a walkie-talkie? Looks like a walkie-talkie. I don't know if you can see it. It's all black. It's gone quite dark now. <laughs> yeah, just like... Yeah, it's got all pouches on it. Basically. Um, she's got one over her shoulder. Looks like... Um, to put another gun there. Um, and then... That, like another pouch. Like, like a pouch. Looks like you know, to put ammo in or something. Yeah, wow. Wow. So there you go, guys. That's the Resident Evil 3 Remake Collector's Edition. And just do like and subscribe. Um, that's it for now, guys. See you again soon.